The wars of the late 1990s and 2000s gave rise to a whole new class of armored vehicle called Mine Resistant, Ambush Protected MRAP, providing frontline ground forces with enhanced protection in urban settings. The MRAP was used to good effect throughout the American and coalition wars in Afghanistan and Iraq where surprise attacks from mines, improvised explosive devices IEDs, and guerrilla-style assaults proved commonplace. A long-time fixture of South African forces, the MRAP eventually became a mainstay of major fighting forces such as the United States, Great Britain, and Russia. One of the available Russian forces is the Kamaz 53949, also known as the Typhoon K-53949, born of the versatile Typhoon line of vehicles manufactured en masse by the Kamaz concern of Russia. The general form entered serial production in 2014 and has branched to include various types in 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 wheeled configurations. The K-53949 is a 4x4 wheeled form serving as both an armored personnel carrier APC, of sorts and an armored cargo vehicle. MRAPs get their classification from the ability to sustain extensive damage or showcase enhanced resilience from blasts that would otherwise destroy or debilitate a traditional light-armored wheeled vehicle. A typical design quality of such vehicles is a V-shaped undercarriage used to deflect blasts away from the vehicle and its occupants. In addition to this, blast-resistant seats are usually part of the design makeup, increasing the likelihood of passenger survival in active war zones. Other notable qualities include blast-slash-bullet-resistant walls and windows, gun ports, and multiple entry-exit hatches-slash-doors. The K-53949 utilizes a conventional automobile-style layout with the engine at front and crew-slash-passenger cabin middle aft. Large road tires are featured with a run-flat ability and the vehicle is given high ground clearance. Armor protection is against small arms fire and artillery spray. An amphibious quality is granted by way of a duct, raised exhaust stack originating from the right side of the engine compartment. The rear of the vehicle can be configured for various battlefield roles including cargo hauling, command post, CP, anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, missile carrier, and battlefield ambulance, known as the Linza. Armament, including remote weapon stations, RWSs, is variable and seated atop the roof of the vehicle for complete 360-degree traversal of the weapon emplacement. Also, any personal weapons carried by the occupants can come into play as needed. Interestingly, there is heavy reliance on Western components in the general makeup of the Russian-born Typhon. This includes the Cummins 6 ISB 350 series P6 diesel fueled engine which powers the 4x4 wheeled arrangement and coupled to an Allison 6 speed automatic transmission system. The engine propels the vehicle to road speeds of 105 kmh out to a range not exceeding 850 km. The hull is developed by Israel based Plazan Sasa. The vehicle measures an overall length of 6.4 meters, a beam of 2.5 meters, and a height of 3.3 meters, giving proper clearance for air transportation in the hold of both tactical and strategic type airlifters. Two crew are typically featured with seating for an additional eight personnel. Entry exit is through four automobile-style hinged doors and a rear access point. The vehicle can ford water sources of 1.75 meters deep, some preparation is required, and cross 0.5 meter trenches. Its gradient traverse limited is 60%. The vehicle sits atop a Timoni, of Ireland, hydropneumatic suspension system which aids in cross-country travel. This Typhoon entry was developed as a private venture in 2010 and unveiled in 2013. By 2020, it has become a fixture with Russian fighting forces.